Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Los Angeles Theater Center. Uh, excuse me, my name is Chantal Rodriguez. I'm the programming director and literary manager for the Latino Theater Company, uh, who are operators of the LATC. 
and we welcome you to the third annual LATP Playwrights Festival. We started this festival three years ago with the intention of having a weekend of completely free play readings of all the plays that we'll be producing in the calendar year. To not only give our artists a chance to see each other's work and to develop their work, uh, but also to allow our audiences a free sneak peek and to see kind of what one of the early stages of play development is and to see, um, see actors working just with the text. So uh, we invite you to come back throughout the weekend. In your program, you can see our schedule. Um, tomorrow night, we will have Cafe Vida by Lisa Loomer from Cornerstone Theater Company, uh, which is based uh, on a program she did with Homegirl Cafe and Homeboy Industries. And then on Saturday, we will have The Girl Most Likely Too by Michael Premsera and Playwrights Arena. And then we will have The Hummingbirds by Elizabeth Francis from Kimberly Guerrero, uh, which is a Native American piece. And on Sunday, we will have Language Rooms by Yusuf El Gundi, and also Refugee Nation by Teatro Productions. Um, so I'd like to take a moment to introduce uh, our playwrights. Uh, we're very pleased to be working with Marcus Gardley, and he is a poet, a playwright, winner of the 2011 Penn Laura Pels Award for a mid-career playwright. Uh, we're working with Marcus Gardley in conjunction with the Lark Play Development Center in New York City. And uh, we are working on a program called Launching New Plays into the Repertoire. So this is one of the stages of, uh, of this play. We're going to be developing it and producing it in the fall of 2012. And then it will go to a rolling premiere throughout the United States. It will go to Anchorage, Alaska. It will go to the University of Florida. And then we'll also go to the Pillsbury House Theater. Um, and each company will do their own production. And so it's a rolling premiere of this play as really the mission to launch this beautiful play into the repertoire of the American theater. And the, the play itself is the second installment in a trilogy about the migration of black Seminoles, which are African and Native American peoples, from Florida to Oklahoma. And the first act of The Road Weeps traces events leading up to the Civil War and we woke Oklahoma, and the second act follows the war. At its core, this play is really about a group of people whose faith and identity are put to test when the water in their well runs dry. So we hope you enjoy. We're excited to have a really beautiful cast. Um, we're very grateful to have our director, Charlotte Brightwaite, with us today. Okay. Uh, it was a really uh, great uh, way that we met Charlotte, and she was in town only for a short period of time, so we're very grateful that she took the time out of her schedule to direct this piece. Um, and all of our actors are here um, essentially vol as volunteers, volunteering their time to, to give to this piece. And so we hope you enjoy. And we also um, just wanted to let you know that our spring season is just right around the corner. We're offering a season pass for $100. You get one ticket to seven main stage productions uh, in this center. We are a fourth theater complex. Um, and so uh, we invite you to come back. This is your home. We pride ourselves in having our programming reflect the diversity in our streets. Uh, which is a rare thing um, on stages in LA, but not here. So we ask you to please come back, and if you would like any more information, please visit us online. Um, unfortunately, the playwright has to take a red-eye flight to Florida right after the reading is done, so we won't be able to have a talk back. Um, but you can always uh, have a conversation with us on Facebook and on the web, um, and we'll hope to continue the discussion in the lobby. So please enjoy The Road Weeks, The Well Runs Dry. The Road Weeps, The Well Runs Dry by Marcus Garfield. There, Indian territory, present day in woke up with the Then, the action takes place over two 24 hour days in the winter of 1850 and 1866. This, the stage is seasoned in Golden Desert. In the rear stands the shadow of a mountain and a wood with trees the shape of warring gods. At their feet flows a silver creek. To the right, a chapel. A well stands center, and to the left, a trade store, with the sign that reads, Have George's Trade or Buy. Them, number two, a black box. Young number two, his younger self, the same actor plays Potter's play. Mary South, number two's wife, a full, a full blood scene. Trowbridge, the sheriff in a full blood scene. The same actor plays Ray Coyote, a stranger in Seminole Chief. Sweet Teeth, number two's daughter, 
black and symmetry. Had George, Trowbridge's wife, black and symmetry. Goodberg, his son, the same actor plays wonderful, young Trowbridge, and an epic. Horsepower, the town elder in medicine, black and symmetry. M. Jean, his granddaughter, the first lady of the church. Fat Red, her husband. And Colorado, the town passing over. Prologue, number two, wrestles his angel, our black hair and braces high. Night, the white eye of heaven falls on two men in the stand. Their eyes locked to kill or fuck. One is number two, built like a mountain. The other is trophy, built like a tree. He wears a sheriff badge. It is 1850. One of us is about to die. Figured as much. My son figures you on account of you killed my boy. Meant to bruise him. Don't matter. Meant to nick him, but he kept that. Made me mad, and I got happy with the blade. You cut him round like a cake. A slice in every direction. He shouldn't have got into my sweet teeth. I saw them both in the creek, even packed. He had her rolling. Had my daughter like she was a hoe. But no matter. You knew to come to me if you had a problem with mine. You knew to come to me if you had a problem at all. I was law in this town, number two. I say what gets killed. Just because you sheriff don't mean you master. Them days are dead. I'm a free man now, and I ain't got to get your permission to kill or something. Even if that something be your son. Keep your mom close, so I can kill you. A woman wants your head to make a suit. Told me not to come back till I had it. And are you your woman's wife? Yeah. She be my man. Figure she already got my balls. God just needs your head. <laughs> How you doing it then, Trophy? You bring a rope? No, I ain't got time to watch you hang around. Gotta kill your natural. Bare hands to crack your neck. Axe off your head, then leave your body for the birds. Well, that's the way to go. No hard feelings if I kill you first, protect yourself. Do what you must. Though, if you do, end me. Promise me you'll go and end my wife. Don't let a woman live without something to live for. That on my word and soul. Then you was good till the hell of a devil got in you. Now I've been sent to put you out the fire. May God give you the strength to do it, because you're surely going to need it. Yeah! The men collide like wolves, their hands forms. They clench one another's necks and freeze. Their bodies from the mouth of the cave. Enter horsepower, both in the He enters the cave, followed by one, sixteen, in red as honey, beautifully not hair. Flash forward, 1866. We rest here. This cave we have got on the mountain. We sit here on this myth and wait for heaven's freckles to bring the blanket of the night. It's them starry freckles that will tell you your history. Way up there? My history, how did it get way up there, old horse? Every night, and every night, every man can see a story written on God's black face. And during the day, God hides it behind his hot smile and cloudy beard, but at night, while he keeps his white eye open, his freckles glow a sparkling gold, so that if a man seeking God's face reaches his hand to the sky, it will cause a spark. It's with that spark that a man can chalk his story. He can trace his past, find his calling, and if he's wise, he can foretell his fate. Whoa, ha! That's a lot. I don't know if I want to know all that. I'd rather hear a bedtime tale and an old joke. Joke? You think this supposed to be funny? Uh, no, but I think I ain't got nothing better to do than to sneak you out of the house and don't have bitch will and bitch dog eating your grandma on me. I'm reading stars for your benefit, boy. You're 15. I'm actually 16. The same thing, just carry the one. <laughs> <laughs> you had a fork in the road in life. And you can go left, but you might get left. You can go right, but you might not be right. Only the stars can chop the course. You need your history, and you need it now. But what if I don't like it? What if my story is bad? He is saying shit. Ain't no such thing as bad history. There's only a bad way to tell it. And you need to know where your fathers came from so you don't go down the same roads they got lost on. You need to know what's in your blood. Yeah? I suppose you're right. Of course I'm right. 
72 years old. I'm wise as books. Now give me your hands, so I can wake up this stuff. I ain't got all that. Grandmother is a yellow bird. With all my shoulders, teach me that. I'm looking for my little yellow bird. Grandmother will teach me how to spread wings. We came here 20 years ago from Florida swamps when the fight for freedom had taken its toll. We had grown old with being some Indian chief slave. Though it took us 45 days, we traveled the road called West. Where rocks chew through our deer skin shoes, through our meat and bone, breaking our walk into lips, our dead stares into tail tears, like the Choctaw, Chickasaw, Cherokee Creek, fierce engines blowing steam. We came here, 300 free black Seminoles, up from 300 years on our knees, drowning in the heat. Burning of the desert stench and sun, walking upon our dead whose heads felt like soft mud under our feet. We came here cursed, weak and guilt ridden for not dancing their souls to sleep. So we made one promise no longer would we weep. In honor of those we lost on the trail, we promised to hold up our heads and not show grief. Last of our tears, we left that way. Look! There in the east, a creek. I found my land. When we got to Indian territory, Trowbridge was the first to find water. And he was a full blood Seminole, son of our former chief, Long John. But he came west with us Negroes to make sure the neighboring Creek Indians didn't try to enslave us. They back in. The government had signed a treaty declaring every man in Indian territory was free. But the Creeks didn't have cons consider it law, so Trowbridge came to be enforced. Unlike his father and the chiefs before him, Trowbridge did not slave. He helped us escape, and we all loved him. Well, all except for him. What do you mean, your land? You know they ain't on the wind blowing Indian territory, Trowbridge. Here it's a land grant. First man to stick his pipe and other claim earth owns it. Mm, sounds like we got a race for it then, number two. Though I feel bad riding against you knowing I got a horse built like a train, and all you got is that suck egg mule marvelous jack. No matter. I didn't come all this way to let an Indian take the only good land left. Horsepower, count off. If Trowbridge wants this creek land, he's gonna have to ride this morning. Now count off! And so I did. Two tingy, four good in. Oh, 
The lucky is me, not those slave catching creeps. I thought I told you to be in the house come Sunday. You did, but Mom needs me to pick a pile of milk at the trade post. I'll just be a breath. Breath or not, I don't like it. Yeah, but you want your peach pie, don't you, Mom? Can't make peach pie without powdered milk, though, can I? Can I, Bob? <laughs> well, you're right. <laughs> Hurry back then, don't stop it up. You hear me? Loud and clear. Kimonaro! 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 Captain Carl! Simonacci! Good bird, Simonacci! Bebonacci! Takes off his shoes. Bebonacci! Bebonacci! Oh, ha! God, there she is. Heaven in the flesh. And the reason my flesh be so weak. You're late, gal. Apologies. It was hard for me to get away. My problem don't need late either. I'm sticking. <laughs> Asking me all the questions and staring at me for no reason, except I guess to try and look into my soul. He said he's nervous that some Creek Indian's gonna snatch me, but I know better. I'm afraid he knows about us, Bert. He's breaking his heart. <coughs> Ah, he's a big man, sweet. If he gets broke, he'll heal. We can't be worried about the folks no more. We're too young for it. Plus, it's them that got some glad, bad blood. Our duty is to love, make love, make love last. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Just sometimes I wish we'd up and leave here. Pack our bags, hitch a wagon, and walk out into the, walk out into the ocean to live as fish. We'd spend our days neck to neck. Looking at each other's eyes, big old eyes, and swimming. And we'd have a whole school of children, too. A whole school? Who's gonna feed a whole school? The ocean. And we forget about this dusty town, and the heat, and the farm, and the Creek Indians trying to slave us, or bad blood between our cars. We'd be happy. We'd be fishing. You're something strange, gal. I don't want to be a fish. Hell. I just got the hang of being a man. I likes it. I likes being a man. And you know what else I likes? Boy, you a mess. Yep. And I likes getting in your mess. <laughs> Dang. You got heavy. What you been eating? Anything I can get my hands on. But it ain't the food that's got me big, Bird. I gotta tell you. Don't matter. I like some ram. Just for more meat for me to lay my lips on. He bathes her in kisses. They make nature. A stern. A figure lurks in the shadow. Ho! Oh, you hear something? No, I don't hear a thing. Not a thing. There was a stir. Somebody's here. You best go. You best go home now. I thought we were getting fishy. Not tonight. I got a bad feeling in my gut. Let's meet tomorrow. There's something that I've been wanting to tell you. Something I gotta live on your heart. But you just got here. Yeah. And if I'm in here, I'll never leave. Well, Lance, what a way to kill a rooster! Good bird rises from the water and leans against a tree to dry off. A figure snatches him from behind the tree and drags him into the wood. We hear the swift stab of fork into flesh and the flap of wings. A stream of blood slithers into the creek. All goes dark. M.G. enters, drawing the curtain of a glorious dawn over the night sky. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. She fetches water from a well, lifts the pail, then drops it. Out pours blood. It forms a rope. Oh, come, sweet Jesus! Blood! There's blood in the well! Huh? There's blood! You did my wood, is it? In the well! In the well! Blood! Oh, I was that mess with blood. I sit down a pail, and it came up with blood! There's blood in the well, huh? Lord, help us blood! What do you mean? What do you mean, blood? You sure that water ain't just dirty? No, I said the blood was fresh and red as tongues. Blood! I don't know. I don't know. Can we call? Somebody been meddling. Somebody been up to no good. It's time to call on God. It's time to seek His face. Heavenly Father, help us down here. Yeah. How will we drink, Lord? How will we quench our thirst? 
the Holy Ghost. <laughs> God is speaking in tongues again. She went to fetch water and found blood in the pail, so now she stood. I sent the pail down and the cup up with air, so I reckon the well run dry. Run dry? But well, I'm supposed to keep waves in my head with no water. <laughs> it's my way to heaven, it's the wind and wet. Though I bet my bones and creak in, it's had something to do with it. So you ride, you know what? You jump at the conclusion. Where else am I supposed to jump? You know them creeks we're trying to get at us since we moved here? If we didn't have one of them three or one, they would have enslaved us already. I'll carve this cell. This is an act of nature. We just have to fetch water from the creek. Though Lord knows number two hates it when folks go near his land. The Lord has spoken. He told me. He drunk our well as a warning. Until we turn from our wicked ways, we will thirst for his water that never runs dry. Who oh, the hell? <laughs> You said God drunk the well? What? Every last drop, and he said he won't fill it up till every man in town confesses that he is Lord. God said all that in Jesus. Sound like to me you was the one doing all the talking. Don't start on me this morning, Colorado. Morning, morning all. Oh, uh, shucks and clucks. Here come that old blood Mary South. I sure don't feel like hearing her how do this morning. How do, how do it all? Sure was good to see y'all early this morning. I was just saying to my husband, number two, how we rarely commune at the, at the square, except on Sundays, more so Wednesday's prayer meeting. Truth told, if it wasn't for the well being in the center of town, we'd hardly ever run into each other. Show is a healthy place for meeting. Well, we could do ladies' teas here, I reckon, and the men's could gather and talk about farming. Of course, sometimes the well do smell like the devil's bowels, and that would be something to get over. But, but we women need a sweet tea and meat. We get awful lonely without y'all's company. And I tell you, further, my skin starts to itch if I, don't, if I go too long without a good gossip. <laughs> good gossip cleans my teeth. <laughs> Healthy gossip, that is. I mean, you know, something that they can suck on my like cane. Bad gossip makes me bread stinking. God don't like stinking. You've got to a clean house. How hey, y'all feeling? <laughs> Thirsty. The well will run dry. What do you mean it run dry? I mean, it was one more full yesterday. We know. God drunk it as a warning. No, he didn't. The creeks put a spell on it. All that ain't so, it's just nature. Maybe it was a sign. Oh, sweet tea, that this day I'm going to go business now. But it's true, huh? It's been hard as biscuits since last Sunday when Horst was by the house reading Paul his story. The old man had a heat stroke. It got hot that day, been hot ever since. I think we're having a trap. Drought? That's just hate. It's winter. How are we going to have a drop in winter? Because it's God! You remember to tell me where that room is going to crack in the throat. It's developed all that noise. Father Power, you're just in time. It appears the well run dry, and you know we rely on you to explain the nature of the supernatural. None of us can figure it out, but perhaps you can reason the why and how to, to, to so that we can may drink from the well again. After all, you are our wise leader. Well. It's a well. Uh, the wells keep water. We turn the folks wish it. Now I figure somebody threw a wish down the well and drunk up all the water. I mean it had to be a wish. Uh, now either way, the well's thirsty and he drank. Now if I could dance, the breath maker would laugh, lean his head back, and weep tears in it. But I got to get paid first. I'm there. <laughs> Fair enough. What's the price? Right, right, right. Sweet tweet. Hand yeah, me some butter going through the sack. 66 be my age, be the price of my dance. Now, pay it now, you won't regret it later. Let's see, a two sum, three sum, four, five, six sum, five more, what to do? Excuse me, Christians, but remember, we do not pay for dances. It's old Indian law like rain dancing that angers God, and it don't make sense. It makes 66 get sense. <laughs> you might be my age, be my price of my dance. But come on, MT. I know you and the men know how to tie. I pay an old man. We ain't even paying you mind, Grandpa. God brought us all the way from Florida, and we like the children of Israel, still serving other gods. We will never pay you mind. Here's five buttons for a two-step. Huh? To dare. Hey, be sweet now, Peach. Your grandpa knows how to be disgusted. If he say he can solve the matter with the well, then we should let him dance. Why, thank you, Rev. I always did like you better. <laughs> now, y'all stand back. So I was going to kick up the dust off. See if I can't get the sky to cry. Oh, that's 
<laughs> Sweet breath maker. Yahoo la ho, fingers green. If I had a turtle, king of the waterway, I scratch his belly to the crowd is river. But all I have here on this dusty land is my feet and the mouths of my children. Go lock out, old Yanka. Give a water breath, maker. I can't bear to lose no more kin to thirst and tears. Bring us water. I beg you. Wait. Morning! Oh, sure. It's you. Yes. Sir. I've come y'all in to work. It appears so well we run dry. The horse just giving us a rain dance to fill it. What about business? Colorado. Ain't number two specking you cross creeks? Yeah, boss, but uh, I'm waiting for some water to brush my hair. I gotta put these nights on my head to sleep. Oh, boy, you fine enough for Friday. Get going. If you get any pretty, I'm gonna have to make you wear a dress. Uh, Fat Rev, yeah. how come you ain't run the church bell? Folks rely on you to wake your rumps up, so move yours. And M.G., when you plan on opening the school? School don't start till high <coughs> noon, Sheriff, when the children's coming back from farm work. Don't matter. It's high enough for life, which means you need to teach. Our children ain't getting no smarter on account of you. Yes, sir, sir. Mary, if you will. Damn shame I got to remind folks that they job every morning. Last thing I want to be is somebody's master. And look at me. I done turned into my pop. Horsepower. What work is it? You need it at the trade post. Good bird didn't come home last night, and my wife got a shipment in from Kansas. She needs you to help her unbox. So? What am I supposed to do about this well? There's nothing you can do but wait for rain. In the meantime, you need to free. We won't go at night, we won't go alone. We'll be like the wind to do our own sort of dancing. So spread the word. The wells run dry and the creek is now our nurse mother. Oh, you should be ashamed. Pardon? Your birds wish struck up the well. Now you got to cry. To save our town, you got to break the law and weep. But why? I don't understand. Ashes, I'm just Ash stone. Um. Hello. Um. Hello. Oh. Uh, well. Well. Why are you dry? Why? Why won't you cry? Oh. Are you thirsty? No. I thirst. Me. Well, I can try and weep for you well. And I, I will reach for you, God. Let's see. I haven't cried since I was five, so I suppose I should think of a sad thought. I can make it in my mind, send it to my eyes, and they'll well up. Spring for the tear. Yes, I'll weep. Uh, hold on, Will. I need to mind some sadness. <laughs> Here. There. A drop. M.G. and Mary sit on the chapel step. The Lord spoke to me this morning while I was praying, sister. He said he stand up with our heathen <coughs> ways and was moved to drink our water. Next. He'll send plagues. Plagues? I, I can't deal with no plagues. I, I mean, I, it takes me three weeks to get over a dust storm. What kind of plagues? <laughs> Is it frogs? I can fuck frog plagues if it's frogs. He showed me the image of a man crawling out the belly of a whale. It was Pharaoh's firstborn, and he was dying. <gasps> Some woman's 
dress. They suck at you. And Lisa, his death would bring new life. The Lord was telling me to pick up the rod, sister. He said that I've sat idle way too long while leaders like my grandpa and the sheriff have kept our minds in bondage. Until they turn from their ways, there'll be plagues, sister. There will be floods. Well, well, I'm on your side, First Lady, but what can we do? This Trowbridge land and the horse powers are elder. They, they, they just do what they think is best. Mm -hmm. Man can't serve two masters, Mary Side. You got to pick a side. God has anointed me to be Moses, to lead his people. Now all I need is a helpmate. What about your husband, Red? He's a glutton and a yellow belly. I'm going to need a woman to stay inside me. Paul had Silas, Moses had Aaron. And although I would likely choose a full blood Seminola, God has chosen me to choose you, sister. Won't you answer the call? Mama! Mama! Uh, that's my girl. I'll think on it and I'll get back to you, sister. I like them. And go forth. And be blessed. And you. Be blessed. Prophet, prophetess. How'd I lose you? How'd I lose you when everything was so good? When everything was right? My sweet, what's the matter? Good girl. My girl, girl it's gone. Sheriff's boy, that's the sheriff's boy. Yeah, Mama. I can't feel my heart. He's cold. I get it to best get his father. Mother's Day. He's dead. Merciful. How, daughter? I can't figure it. He came here half out of himself, out of the well. The well? Like he was coming up for air. I suppose he climbed up, but I don't know how long he was down there. Maybe who cut him through him now? <coughs> Lord, his mother can be a foul evil thing. When she finds out, she'll cut an appetite worse off than a pack of coyotes. Guess we make sure we have no part of this spill. Be a good girl and help him drag his body to the bush. Like a dog? He was mine. My beloved! Your beloved what? My one. My man, and I'm not ashamed of it and won't be. Whoa! Th this good bird's yours? You got a man against your paradise one and this one? You know your father feels about his kid? What do it matter now? He's gone! And I don't much care what Pop feels. I loved him. And I won't have you shaming us over his body. No, baby, of course, but best we not tell you, Paul. Let things die then, huh? Don't know how I can keep it. Well, if you've kept it this long, we can. Let's move him before it gives a stink, and carefully decide that there's something sticking out there. Blow his wing. Sweet tea, pours the tube. What is it? it it's a tube of a pitchfork, looks like. Come. We'll, we'll take it to the chapel, but we won't cry, but this is our way. We women labor out the bodies of the world, only to have to bring them in. They pick up Gus Bird's body and exit. Near the creek, number two combs his cornstalks with a pitchfork. It's missing the center, too. Colorado leans against the tree. Brother, hmm. I guess this hot. I just want to make love in the creek. <laughs> Lay a whore down in the water, wrap her legs around me, lean her back against the willow, and rub my trunk deep in the soils of her neck and land. I want to feel around her like the forest of a wind. Shake the fruit from her branches, make her moan so loud while the bell wakes from a nine week nap, and the flock of billhorns fill the sky. Brother, I want to lift her, brush my waves with more and more rapids, more and more winds, rustling, whistling, whooshing. Then I bet I burst. Like a golden poppy with sweet pollen pops to the stem, and I bust nut and shut Like all hard men do. And the sweet poor will have carved my name into the tree. Colorado, it will be. Colorado goes. <laughs> the colored road. The black adventure. <laughs> the long, dark, hard, rocky way. <laughs> Nigga, you ever gonna work? <laughs> <laughs> Can't work when I'm horny, number two. It messes with my head. Won't get nothing done that way. Gotta wait till my pipe goes steam. I ain't got to wait till shit. It's hot as hell. 
Ain't gonna be waiting till you soften to stack hay. You get hard at the sight of a head walking fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think I'll stay hard because I'm a lover by nature. God told me my calling is to answer the natural needs of women. But someday spread my seed like wildfire. <laughs> Because I was lost in my kin when I was a baby, and now God wants me to make up for it. Populate like Abraham. He was a lover too, you know. Man had it with a woman at the age of 100 and something. That's how I'm going to Make it a moment till I die. And you're going to be short lived if you don't pick up a fork and help me stack. Cows be around shortly, but we got some hail to fill, creekside, plus I want to try and gather fence to keep it hunting from my chicks. You want to be a lover, you should have got to a woman's job like a sheriff. Sitting up acting like he owned everybody because he's full of blood. Me and you is cut from the same blanket of night. Means we got to work. Means we got to slave the land. Number two takes a drink in the creek and spots his reflection. It sparks the memory. Enter young number two, 16 in shock. He take he too takes a drink from the creek. Young Trowbridge enters with the spear, wearing nothing but a loincloth. It is 1823. Indian time. Uh, excuse me. Shh. Oh, but what you mean, shh? I can see your ass. Shh. I said I'm hunting the black bear. Where? What well, ain't no bear come through here. He's just beyond those trees and the bushes eating beauty berries. Oh. Is that how you got naked? <laughs> that bear ate your clothes? <laughs> nah, I ain't naked. This is warrior's arms. It's called a sackcloth. Well, if that's a sack, it ain't holding much. Right. And if it's a cloth, you did not get your money's worth. <laughs> ain't you cold as a well good as bud? I'm the son of a Seminole chief. I don't get cold now. Shh. I must face the bear and run my spear, spear through his heart. Well, ain't this head scratching? I ain't never seen a half naked man sneak up to a bear. Be like a, a, a chicken with no feathers walking up to a wolf. Where, where I come from, we call that free food. Shh. There must be signs when I kill him. It's my right of passage to leave the tall quest with the echo. I must bring the black bear home to feed my tribe for the Green Corn Festival. This is the beginning of my story. It looks like it's going to be a short story. <laughs> you can't kill no bear with that twig you call a spear. You think you need to set a trap? Ooh, I help you for a horse and somewhere to lay my head for the night. Nah, I, I don't need it. Besides, I can tell you run away by those shackles on your feet. It's against the law to give a runaway slave a horse in these swamps. Well, fine, but you're wasting my talents. I know how to squeeze a bear and what to say in his ear so he sleep, even where to lay him down. My master was a creek Indian and taught me the secret song. Don't matter. Only Indians can wrestle with wild with secret chants. Niggas ain't got the blood for it. My pa says you could be all good for making nature grow, because you got strong hands. But it means you belong in the field. And what he know? Your pa ain't God. I know God, and he say I can wrestle any nature come my way. He give me a gift for it. Bully? God made you God because you belong at the bottom. Even when a man look under his feet, you find black men. Now that means something. Yeah, it made him dirty and he need to wash his feet. Young number two wrestles him. The shadow of a bear appears. He's looking at his lips! Run! You crazy! Stay still! You can't run from no bear. We got to look into his eyes. If we stare him down, he'll let us look into his soul. Then what? Shit, then I see him. They turn around towards the bear's shadow. Maki Mata Matkatka Kali Padka Matkatka In shadow, the bear bowed and exits. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Negroes can rest a while just like him. Blood, you something else. And you say, maybe I found my black bear after all. What you mean? Why you looking at me like that? Cuz? He points his spear at young number two. You're gonna be mine. My man. Number two waits from this misery as light fades to reveal his wife's <coughs> merry sight. Woman? May I talk to you, Spell? I'm working. It's urgent. It's been happening, and I need to get this to you alone. 
Colorado, go purchase that fence at the trade, folks. Go with speed, come with speed. Now you speak with speed. Good bird, Traverage's boy. We found him dead in a well, but don't know how he got there. But we moved him to the chapel, and our hands have been on the body. How do you find a man in a well that deep? He climbed out, I suppose. You know it ain't no water in there now. He would have drowned if it was. Something lifted him. I want him. There was water in that well yesterday. Somebody been met. What if this mother thinks we had some part of this act that we killed him? Who said he was killed? I figured he must have been because of the cuts. Plus, I found a cross, <coughs> some tools, tooth pierced in his side, and they are reason he was stabbed. Stabbed? Who said that? His body said something went at him with hate, bold and blind. I guess he was cut up and tossed in the well to be lost in the darkness, but the killer wasn't so bright. Most birds don't drown, you know. Most can swim. That's so. Number two lifts the pitchfork, showing the missing two. Of course, everybody knows but <clears throat> Oh, help me, Jesus. What is it? What you see there? Nothing. I, I don't see nothing, I swear. Then you're not looking good enough. Look closer, woman, what you see. I see a gap. I see something between us I didn't know, and I, and I don't want to know. That bird was making mention with our dog. Did you know that? Only recent, only this morning. And you weren't going to tell me? Was, as soon as you would. You killed him, number two? You killed the sh sheriff's only son? It would have got away with him. And it would have got away with him except for you taking the body from the tomb. I'll save you. Why? That bird was making nature with our dog. The seed of my enemy plotting his own in the soil of my girl. Couldn't sleep with the thought of him flying off with her in my dreams. Couldn't get no work done. It was quiet. Let's listen. Let's listen. His mother will bite down on us. That half George will torture us slow. It takes some time. Can you be that foolish? Don't you know her power? That rich may have tricks in her bag, but she knows about me. She can't even breathe on me and cause a chill. I'm godly. Maybe in your eyes, but I've laid with you. You were good at certain things. Certain things would be magnificent. I don't like your mouth, my wife. <laughs> she brings the pain. My child, if she plucks even a strand of hair, I'll match my daughter's pain with yours twofold. If she merely scratches her, I'll cut your neck for you soon. How you ever so quiet. Hold! Let me be. Hold, I said. I am your man. If I hold you, love it. If I touch you, be still. I bring peace, woman. Your needs are to please me, to make lust and children for me, not to lay threats. No, Mary Sal. You lay your body on me and pass a blanket when I'm cold. I am your God. You serve me. Is this? What has this heat done to you? Where, where is my man? I put him to sleep. But you don't know about me. I had a twin. I shared my mother's womb with a brother who wrapped his cord around my neck and fought me in my mother's belly for space. We were as alike as a pair of hands. Only he came out number one, big and laughing, and I came out number two. Blue as deep water, and with a white mark across my chest. I suppose this called that one treatment like such. I always got the seconds, always walked behind, was always forgotten. Till 16, 16 years when the mark took shape of a fist and somehow grew inside me, I could no longer keep it down. Till I was forced to take action, take a lead, and push my brother from a tree. The quiet. He was no rock. He burst into pieces at the first crash. I figured that's what killed my mama, drove my father crazy, and forced me to run away. This mark. You and I both know it grows still. It charges me, urges me to be number one. Horsepower says it's the mark of the white sun. It's the shape 
and, and shape, and sh meaning my life has no end, and I can only be killed by my own blood. No blade, nor gun, nor curse can take me down. I tested last Sunday when Horace read my story. I climbed the mountain, leapt into the sky, swallowed the sun, and did not die. It's true, but I'm a mortal. If you believe And that makes me a fool's wife, and that makes me laugh. And that makes me think life is funny, and that makes me want to cry. I have to tell half George about her child. You best tell Trowbridge you killed his son. You best solve this, or you'll need to swallow more than the sun to calm her revenge. Imogene and Fat Red walk to the well as people pass carrying tales from the street. Now, indeed, I must preach against this proclamation. Public broadcast is why we have a choice. I can say all what needs to be said in my Sunday sermon. Perhaps even make room for your need so that folks are sure to listen. And why will you stay put and listen? Calling the sheriff and your grandpa even is not the way to go about this. Not a good man. Even if they're going to hit you. After the grand just been worshiping the older spirit so long he can't get used to Jesus. <laughs> and, and the sheriff? Oh, he ain't never had the slaves, so he don't know how to treat us like we be, but they, they could be. You, they shepherd husband, and they your sheep. If they go to hell and you left them, it means you they walk. How you live with yourself, being a wolf? Well, I don't live with myself. I live with you. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped this. I knew it. You're my wife, but you got to mind me. I put his back. Big G. See? Look at him. It's down. Down on the ground. Like so. Look at him. See ya. It's pretty, but it don't work over me. I'm led by God. And if you try and stop me, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to cut you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Indeed, I'm your husband, but I'm a preacher. You can't talk to me in your old kind of way. You don't ask me, MG. MG gets on a soapbox and blows a ram's horn. It probably makes a sound. The town's folk get it. I love it! Barking water folk, gather around, gather around. In the name of God, women, children, there's me. Tell me he was in love. The one to be kept. 
There's hate between me and your father. That's why he couldn't say your name. Don't hate me, sir. I love I know. I knew love. Once. But don't worry. His death will take a life. I'll hunt the killer. And I'll cut his head off. We return to the square. But the next four plagues will be worse. Pestilence will consume the sky. Beasts and flies will eat our livestock and grain. Boils will pop from our skin, and hellfire will rain down like rain. A rocket's in the air. The crowd is silent. People look at the sky and run off. Inside the trade store, half George Kent's tobacco. She is a thick, handsome woman with hair white as George Washington's wig. Enter Mary South with a fruit basket. Evening, Cap George. How are you? <clears throat> My, the, the trade store is so pretty. You think it's springtime in November. Is this new calico? I'll take three yards and, 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 and some ribbon when, when it moves you. Sweet tea's doing a new blouse. The Lord knows I can't afford it. May also um, have some coal oil. Um, a jar of molasses and powdered milk. You're looking healthy today. I like the colors on you. It, it brings out your womanly features. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was just passing through and plum picking and carrying on. Thought you might be needing some fruit for your preserves. Who said I preserved? I like my fruits to pick my nature. Oh, I'm right. Well, I. I believe God makes us all, all different. Some of us are soft and peachy, and others are hard and rotten, but we all got good centers. Sometimes you just gotta peel away the rotten parts to get to the sweet. But we all, we all good. Mm. You just sound like, like you done made some golden discoveries. Now I can look and tell folks got good centers. I figured that when I was five. You some dumb woman in your sack. Oh, come on, woman. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I won't tell you before, but I, I didn't care enough to make it plain. Guess I do. Here it is. I think you the dumbest bill ever rung in this dust ball time. I think you're hard, thick, clean, and if I had my way, I'd silence your charm. I'd stick a nice size rock down your throat, then stick your two lips together to make a hymn. And if you choked, it would be a, oh well. Life is hard enough with a rooster cockadoo waking me every morning and sometimes sky thunder waking me in the dead of night. But every door, your empty talk, you come in here acting like we friends, but needing something makes me want to beat you. Knock you down, make me want to stand on your head like a cliff to get a better view of the ocean. You seem in a mood. Got 
some of his blood on my dress. I didn't want to break your heart, good woman, but no man was man enough to do it. He's dead, and twas his body cursed the well. Take my time for his. For well, what he would give you in love, I'll give you in late. Wow! No reason. I, I, I just feel sorry for him. Wants to offer my hand. And for what? You ain't never offered it before. He never needed it. But we're the same. Outcasts in our own town. Folks look down on me because I'm full blood and even married to a Negro. They look down on you because you're a Negro married to a full blood. But we're the same. Two sides of the same hand. Gotta help each other up. Bullshit. I smell bullshit. <laughs> you believe bullshit. No, but I will go please you. Oh, it won't. Feed me truth. It was an accident. Number, number two, stabbed him out of fear. He was drunk, angry, but it didn't mean it. Don't hurt him now, George. I know you have great power, and I believe it. I believe in the old way, but my new God teaches us forgiveness. He teaches us mercy, and I need yours. Let me work for you, is what I'm saying. I know you really don't have time since he's got to keep the justice in town. And now you, your boy's gone. Look, look, I got strong hands. I can tell. I'll sew so you can read. Read. Cold hearts. Sun. A swallow. Sun. Winter. A dead bird. Means the spring of a new life. Your sweet tea's pretty. Can't be. Sweet tea's pure. What well, about you, that dumb? That was rolling since your gal grew heels. I want a child, not in the birth now, and I won't harm yours. That's how I did. But after this no child, I swear. He will be raised by my hand, and his heart will be dead to yours. You came to see it, let it be seen. She burned the needle in the fire. Yes, yes Mary Stout offers her hand. Time has come for the old swoop, Mary Sam. Go tell your man the time has come for the sweat. She burns the pack on Mary's hand with the deal. In the square, Aunt Jean came to carry a sign that reads, Who stole God's home? <laughs> <laughs> that red car. Aunt Jean was a stone. He was peppered. And it was one pepper. And sugar, it grazed you. Whoever threw it had a bad aim or meant to, to scare you. Now let's go home now. A pebble was all it took for David to kill the Goliath. How do you think it did me? You're not the Goliath, you're not even a Philistine. He that cast the first stone, <laughs> let it be without fear. <laughs> Somebody in this town don't think they're a sinner. But wait till I find him out. It's your horsepower, squeezing blood from a stone. He circles the web. He hola hola, ya hola ho ya, hola ka ho ya ka. Good Lord, it's your fault. What are you doing? Is he blood left? What are he then? Sure. Grandpa, come here. He hands him Jean the bloody rock. What's this? It was you? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. You stoned me. <laughs> Yeah, I threw it. Threw it because your heart hit it, and I wanted to see if your heart hit. You take a rock. You're blessed, so I figured it can't. But so if you're right, I tell folks tales. I tell the tales of this time. Me, I keep the stories. And you cursed our town by telling folks their biblical lies. You got them living in fear of nature, when you know nature be God. Even your Jesus would be ashamed. And you cut us off from the spirit of protection in Gene. You cut your Gene guy, now you're just an imp. All right, Grandpa, I gotta get you going. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to beat you against the whipping tree. Ain't no man gonna be throwing stones at my wife. I don't care if he deserves it or not. I'm the only man that's gonna touch her, and that's the word, so get you going. Y'all hear that? The red is kicking your paw out of town, and you gonna, he gonna feed them to whatever luck be on the wood. If the Indians don't slave me, the coyotes gonna have a lean meal with my meat. Can y'all stand for that? I promise I'm not gonna do the on this. Can y'all walk by and let him kick me to the grave? Y'all won't fall. The time's gonna stop to protect him. I didn't think it could. They're not standing for it, Rev. 
You might be their leader, but I'm the one they'll always follow. You forget. It's my time. Satan is a liar and a conjurer too. If you don't watch out, he'll conjure you. If I could, Lord, I surely would. Stand on the rock where Moses stood. Elijah Rock, shout, shout. Elijah Rock, I'm coming up, Lord. Elijah Rock, shout, shout. M.G. exit, drawing the curtain of dust over dead. She climbs the mountain. Women pour water into a tree stump, then grind kernels to make soft. Men cover their faces with warrior paint and low guns. Trowbridge carries the body of his son into the trade post. What happened to us? Thanks, sir. Golf fish and a bowl of meal on the stove when she eat. Oh, she be here at dawn to start the period. No matter how you know. Still, you should eat. Your heart may be heavy, but your gut still needs attention. I'll eat your thing. Don't bother going out for air. You don't need your gun for air, hooks. I do if I can't breathe. And I won't be able to until I kill something. A group of men folk performing a posse at the mountain come sunset. To avenge good birds' death, they're going to raid the Greek Indian camp and kill the chief. With or without me, they'll have his head. For what? Can't can you, you use yours? You know the Greeks didn't have nothing to do with this. They've been threatening us for 16 years, Georgia. Creeping around our town at night, watching us like hawks. I can feel their eyes on my back. Those were Greek eyes. Just look. <laughs> look. Look at your son and see who left their mark on his body. Who's got head strong enough to choke the neck? Who carries a pitch It's ball? not him. I know him. He would never do this. Since we moved here, he's been stewing. His hate for you having grown so hard, he won't even cross the creek. Man sends his wife to his dad to pitch goods or packages. He can't even stand and look at you long enough to buy a box of tobacco. And you think you won't kill your son? You don't know him like I do. We go back sunsets, days and nights, just us for years. We only chose to hate each other because our love was so strong. It would have killed us. But he died for me. He'd never kill mine. For his dad, he would. If he saw your boy and his girl and felt that love was going to wound her like it did him, he'd kill yours to save his. I know for facts, fellas. His wife came and told me she, she even left his tooth. She shows him the two. I'm gonna kill him. Hey, he got the mark. Horsepower says he can only be killed by his own blood. We got to get to him another way. No matter. Gotta kill him tonight while I'm thirsty. You're not listening. You the sheriff. You got to be the law and arrest him. You got to call off that grave for sundown for those men go killing the wrong one or worse to kill. But I want to hug him. <sighs> you do. And you gonna be dead. Don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. You dead and it don't matter. What about me? I ain't strong like you, Georgia. I'm I ain't strong as you, Georgia. It's the one thing that keeps me in your arms. Your awesome strength. Perhaps you my man and me just kisses. But I can't live without my vengeance quenched. I got to touch him. This is me. You go and stop that brain. You look me in the eyes and tell me you won't stop that brain stroke. It's been so long since I touched him. So long. You stop that rage, Joe Rich. Don't leave a woman lonely in this world like most men do. Like most kids. Like even most gods. She unveils her child's body. She prays. Mary and Sweet Tea are in the chapel. You couldn't come to me. I would have taught you how to keep that ugly muscle from spitting between your legs. I'm no tricks. How far along are you? Long enough. What's that mean? Two months? Long enough. Been hiding it for close to eight. Eight? Gal, yeah, I thought you'd been getting fat enough for the winter. Jesus. We gotta keep you healthy. I, I gotta start knitting and carving a cradle. Boy, I forget how quick. Is it 
Nothing had happened. What is it, Ma? No, nothing, Ma. We just gotta get you out of town, that's all. We gotta get you out of town as quick as possible. Well, why? I can't be traveling while I'm pregnant. Don't matter, you gotta get. There, there are plagues here, plagues that will try to take your first form. You heard the first lady. Ma, you don't believe that all. I've seen things, T. Beautiful things that your, your eyes can't hardly fathom. I've seen children cured by kisses, old women made beautiful by scratching their heads. I've seen people sprout wings, fathers turning their backs on their boys, horrible things. Boys killed for their father's crime, babies ripped from the arms of their mothers to pay a debt. I've seen plagues and people far worse than those in nature, and I'm afraid these plagues are destroying our town. Now, I never asked you for much, baby. This one thing you've got to do for me. Let me take you away from here to the ocean. I know it's your dream. T, let me, let me keep you sweet. Creekside, number two tenths of his corn. Colorado enters with the gun. Great man, Colorado. I thought I'd say come with me. I tried, boss, but there were distractions in town. Some creeks killed the sheriff's boy, but we formed a posse. We're going to raid the creek camp tonight. I just came by to see if you want to join us. I know you ain't want to partake in town affairs, but, well, everybody knows you're fighting war here. We've all heard legends about like you and the Red Coyote and you fighting that whole army in Fort Gibson. We need you one too. Was you asking the sheriff? You know the sheriff don't ask for nothing. He ain't a man, he ain't a master. He's been treating me like a dog all my life. Part of me don't care to fight for his son, but since I hate him, you know, I figure I hate the creeps more. No, you don't. Hate don't exist, only love is real. Figure hate be love misled, but it's love nevertheless. Can't hate nothing you don't love, can't love nothing you don't hate somehow. You love the sheriff? Hell enough. Then you don't hate it. But me, I love him. Love him like I love a woman. Like I love my wife. Just with bad directions, lost life. Like I could soon kill him and kiss him over the toe. You were doing lots. You just talking because I ain't got to know all your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, kill him against the tree. Well, if you work for me, Colorado, the best learn what kind of man I am. Best learn what it's best to test me. True bridge crossed me. Misled the love I had for him. That wasn't good. Now, I didn't stop loving him. Love don't die. It sometimes gets misdirected and grow around like undergrowth, but love always grow. Maybe even choke something. In plain, this is my meaning. Best not test me. If I tell you to come back with speed, do like I tell you. I might get a hold. Choke. Number two skips a rock in the creek. It sparks the new memory. Young number two is revealed under sunlight, skipping rock on the water. It's a young toad. I can show you how to skip rocks, number two. I'm a master at it. You show me how to leap off a cliff. You want to show me something. Ooh, somebody's hot. You mad because I'm going west, war horse? No, what I can. It likes to be lonesome anyways. And with you gone, I'll finally be free. Be my own master. That's what you want, ain't it? Been what I wanted all my life. Then why are you hot? Don't know. Maybe because of the heat. Oh. Figured you'd be used to the Florida swamp by now. Maybe it's because I'm so close to you. Maybe I make you eat it. He puts his arms around young Trowbridge's waist. Don't touch me. It ain't normal. So? Neither is your aim. You want to skip a rock best lead it into the water and use your hips more. Have you ever made love? I've made plenty of things. Hmm. That means no. I can teach you a swing or two, but you have to come west and help me build a town with old boys. Now why would I do that? Well, like you said, I'm free. And you'd still be. You'd be free with me. Might as well. I know you got the hots for me. <laughs> You've been dreaming. You'll stay asleep. Young Trowbridge kisses him. Mm. That looks like we both woke. Sun and moon move into the same house. A solar eclipse. The creek turns black. Number two waits to see Strowbridge. Moonlight falls. 
we would turn to the standard. I've been sent to put out your fire. Then God gave you strength to do it, because you'll surely need it. They collide, choke each other. Take this breath, Trowbridge. No, won't. Won't sleep. Take it, I say. Be with your son. No. Burn. And. Trowbridge takes his last breath. We hear a wind song. He dies. Number two lays him in the creek. Cuts off his hair braid and pockets him. He walks into the wood and comes up on horse power. The faded day is here, number two. The mark of the white sun that grows on your chest. The breath maker's fire has risen. Stolen by a rabbit, swallowed by your paw, and it's holy in you now. Only you can keep us from being made slaves. Bring the heat, number two. You hear them cries in the night? Follow them. Put the Creek Indians on their knees. You are the sun suburb. Set them masses on fire. Uh, in the woods, I uh, see even later. Uh, I can't do it here, Ma. I can have my way in the woods. Yes, you can. You're strong. You come with a good start. Just breathe, Clyde. That's it, babe. Keep breathing for now. That's it. Uh, oh, I think he's coming. Oh, God. Oh, God! Yeah. Red and Colorado take you to the gunfire. Colorado is fine. You're going to be all right. Just hold this curve just keep you moving. We are done, right? Trowbridge never show up, and the creek got never hand. It's over. We're good as dead. No, just push, babe. He's going to be fine. Just push him off. Yeah. I see him! I see him! Who's that? Dan, the east. Don't know. Is it a sheriff? Oh, no, no, it looks like a... Oh, yeah! Number two. And he got a glow on him. He got a glow. Look at him. Those creeps can better touch him. He pop on their necks like peas in a pot. Good guy, he's Beautiful. Look at your son, sweetie. I go up there, I had a guy in the night. Looks like my kids. Yeah. He just arrived half two Let my, my girl have one day. Look for you, but the rest of you. Oh, oh, who's out there? Nobody, T. Mary Stout, hands her the baby. Take it, then. This must be God's will. Look at him. He's the prophetess. He killed every last one. Look at two killed every last one of them. We'll have half their tribe after us now. Come, sweet Jesus. Oh, and he shall be known. Wonderful. Number two walks out of the moon, dancing. Now hold up! Oh, yeah! He blows the moon. End of Act One. There will now be a two minute intermission.
It just needs help putting it in the right place. Oh, I'll put it in the right place. Right between my feet, fist and squeeze it. He's a walking plague. He killed my pa, my grand, cursed the well, killed hundreds of creeks, and is making a killing off the land. Land that rightfully belongs to me. Land don't belong to no man. This here earth be God's breast, and it's for our milk and not our rape. The minute a man claims a, a part of Mother Earth's flesh, he gets fucked. He goes mad for her meat like a dog at the first taste of blood. Chewing everything in his path, the nature, people, history, still all that's left is bones and the spirits of bones that aren't in past apologies. Carving your name into the land be the biggest curse of creation. You do better to cut off your own hand. And I surely would have met his death. Don't you feel the heat, Horace? It's getting hotter in town by the day. And the hotter he gets, the stronger he becomes. The well is still dry, the creek is drying up. Folks is dying of thirst. And that what's worse, the sheriff is cold. He taxes us and treats us worse than dogs. Makes folks work in the cornfields with little to no pay. He doesn't even observe Sundays. Somebody's got to put them down, no matter the cost. And we both know I got the blood to do it. Act 2, the New Testament, or by the road we. Where did Colorado build a wall near the creek? Colorado was ugly. It's hot. Building this wall in front of the creek don't make no kind of sense. If any of them gonna climb over it, can't keep folks to water. I know it. Number two, the sheriff. If he wants a wall built in front of the creek, it's a wall built in front of the creek. <clears throat> Ten years of peace, though. Why he won't stir it then? Man said he planned to charge the priests too if they wanted to take a drink. Like he owned no wall guard. He might as well be on everything else. Is Sweet Corn alone bring a hundred dollars a season? Of course, he only got one season, so the man's not heavy his bottoms. Man, you ain't got folks in Fort Riley right down here just take a bite. No, man. It ain't Christian to cut folks off with the water. Should have thought about that before they killed Goodberg and cursed our well. I don't feel sorry for the creeks. They to figure out thirsty to God's way. Oh, quit your coming. Spitting 16 years worth of hogwash. I know for certain the creeks didn't kill good bird. The Lord told my wife who did it in a dream. He said it was a black bear. <laughs> you mean to tell me a black bear killed good bird, threw him down the well, and drunk all our well water? Yeah. We was fighting the creeks for nothing all them years. Good thing God spoke to my wife, though. <laughs> Ain't she a wonder? Yeah. <laughs> Often find myself wondering about her. Then <laughs> <laughs> I can see you. Oh, don't be jealous, Colorado. God gonna send you a godly woman, too. Just hold fast now and you pray. Nah. Ain't no woman want a man with a face like mine. It used to be God's gift, but it didn't fight too much. Mm. Got too many stars covering my view, dude. I oh, you're just shy because you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can teach you what you need to say, what to say, old gal. Make her forget how hard you are to look at. But don't let, don't let this back fool you now. I used to be a heartbreak way back then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> old enough to lose women to start my own church quiet. Well, until I found Sister Moses and got saved. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Don't you mean that? <laughs> I don't want to hurt your feelings, Rev, but your wife is wearing your pants and holding your pants. Bite your tongue. She mean when I won't have you burn her name in your bullet like she do yours? What you think she's saying about you behind your back? She got cursed from you, I ain't never heard call the devil. And the way she run the church and boss a men folk around? She do all the Greek sermons that any man with half a mind can tell she's right. You know about that? <laughs> now, I don't know about that. Jacob said, folks must think the eyes young. As Churn mother. Oh, I could cry. It would be the first two weeks since you moved here. 32 years have been on this land. Ain't a man wrecked once. Don't you do it, Red. If anybody should cry, it should be your wife. I bet I can teach you how to make her mind. At the square, M.G. reaches before women who fan themselves with hats. God ain't meant for Eve to have to mind no Adam. It's supposed to be the other way around. All the thing is, man ran faster and 
and got to God's book for a woman could. She was no doubt pregnant at the time. <laughs> and you have to get so far. So man grabbed the book and changed the scripture to fit him. That's why some of the good books don't make no sense. Yeah. Man been meddling in it. But God really means for women to lead. Just stay on. We more like God than any man. We love easier, more patient, long suffering. And we, the creators, we give men like some challenge. And that there is prompt proof, we more like God, and He has given me eyes to see it. And I show angels spread it as gospel. Far and wide, wide and free. And you do the same, my daughters. Go and be like God. For you all are goddesses. Yeah. Why, that be so sermon, sister. Why, thank you, Mary. And don't you look like you done touched the hem of God's garment, stole it, and put it on for church service. Well, you know, I had to look smart for my sweet tea's homecoming. Because it said hi noon, but I, I don't want to miss her in case she got here early. She might feel a little lost after 16 years. Lord, today, why she chose to get an education, then be some nurse for the Union Army I never found. Tending to colored soldiers, being around all those savage, sweaty menses, and ain't got no husband. Who is the lot on the gale? <laughs> oh, there she is. Just a woman I want to see in my She is as beautiful as a cactus in the desert of my soul. <laughs> he kiss pie. How are you, Paul Powell? Well, to get true, I'm a little thirsty. Life got me thrown out of a button corn and I need a drink. But there's a pot to see a jingle gal. <coughs> Paul, we are not feeding your drunken spirit with our hard-earned buttons. Leave us. You know better than speaking to ladies before you had a bag. Really? Is that what you call yourself these days, him? Any man get a good look at your face or throw a rope around it and saddle up a truck. Don't ever tell me who to speak to and when. Now you my dead daughter's only child. What if me used to be seeds swimming in my nether sack? It is isn't fly. Oh, boy. Today's my sweet tea's home pump. Y'all be sweet. Right, daughter. I just need to drink to calm my nerves. Been dancing around the well all night and it's got my head spinning. Then stop dancing, heathen! It ain't wearing in 16 years. The land's cursed. You should know because you cursed it. Now, Mary, can I tell you you look beautiful as a butter cake, baby? Uh -huh. But you don't even need frosting. You look good, yeah. Have I told you that? <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> Go soft for the first lady now. He needs to come to church and let me lay hands on him. Cast that demon from the pits of his soul. Never. I ain't never let you put your hands on me. You're still just an M, and an M ain't much. In the name of Jesus! He spits on Christ! He spit on me! Yes. Mercy, he's acting outside of himself today. There's be something in the wind. No, it's the final plague. God has hardened his heart like he did Pharaoh's. Next he'll send the flood. All these years and we still ain't learned God wants us free. He's drunk our well water, sent a dry spell, killed a firstborn, kept us in battle with the creeks, and now, niggas is spitting. <laughs> He's the cause, Mary. My grandpa is Egypt. It's time for Moses to take up her rod. You don't mean that, sister. He's just old and drunk. I got to. Otherwise, we'll never keep this promised land. I must part the sea along his back till he bleeds like a river. So we can cross, be free. In the store, push power counts for half door. Now here it is, a two sum, three sum, four sum, six. I know what you got, Holmes. It ain't enough for a bottle of whiskey. Why don't you buy a glass and take it slow this morning? Because it's going to be a long day. I feel it in my bone. This day going to go on for years. There's probably some slack, George. You know how good people Good people got to do the price of whiskey. Three sum and four sum is what you need. Hey, or get you gone. Hey, this a dog thing. You forgot I saved you from the medicine man back past Molly's bin. He had you growing rice in the marshlands, an ad flow, drinking black drink, and you carrying him on your back like you was his mule. 
It had you so shocked your head turned to the wild of bird dropping. But it was I who snatched you from that pit, Georgia, baby. When your black men turned their backs on you for being with you, it was me who, who took you up on my hip like a babe, fed you out of my mouth, and put you on the road with the rest of my children. But you forget. So what you say? I'm saying you're open. Well, look at the sheep. Didn't realize you'd been home to my dad all these years. That I paid. Today, in fact, I pay in full. I'm going to give you anything in this dog you want. You've been holding on to my debt for all these years, and, and you're going to get what, what you got coming. But after this, don't you come back. Ever. Oh, what you talking about? You can't keep me from buying trade. Who said I can? Read the side of the door. It said, half George trades all back. And guess who I am? All I want is some whiskey. This thing's gone out of hand. All I want is a drink. Too late. Too late. We done already put in your order. Now you got to get served. Boy, we got a tall order for a small man. Get him a box and give him his whiskey. Then bag him his brandy wine, some canned beans, those four beans. Oh, give him these cordials, the second almonds near the church. But, Ma, those are your favorites. No, I'm bringing my dad. Give him these herbs. He sat for a pinch of nightshade mint leaves for his breath. Where are you going away, old horse? Well, happy Thanksgiving. Neither. Your mom just lost her mind. You have to find And put him some dry milk. He got bad bones. Oh, and don't forget the rest of this crow. He showed up on me back. I can't take these goods. George, I, I got a bad back and legs. I can't lift this. No, I'll take it. It's my day to pay. I'll carry my seat. Damn, that was hot as hell today. The demons is rising, boy. They're ripping my cheering from my arms and the cheering slipping. I can't hold to them no more. I'm too old. It's time to be wise. He exits. One who picks up his spear and practices fighting him. I was in bloom like tulips in bloom. I found you. Enter sweet tea in a petticoat, grand hat, with a ruby pin in love. Well, ain't this enough to pout lips? Where's my welcome wagon? Ain't nobody even here on the mule waving their big toe and whistling Dixie. Where the hell's that? Gone. Gone where? Didn't they know sweetly tasting Freeman was coming to town? Been on the road for half a month since the war. Shopping, shucking, eating, and carrying on. What you think of my hat? It's big. Of course it's big. I'm a big woman. Was a gal when I left. Where's Cap George? Gone. Gone where? And who in God's name are you? Wonderful. That's so. Well, what's so wonderful about you? Can't say. It's a secret. Of course. It's Indian territory. Everything here is put under a rock. Good God! You sure is pretty, man. Aren't you a gentle soul? Yes, I am. I'm gentle. But I can be rough if you like it. <laughs> Lord, I sure am hungry. Wouldn't you believe I've been craving peaches and butter biscuits for 16 years? Left this town in a rush. Didn't even take my mom's <coughs> recipes. Just had to see the world. Had to touch the ocean. You've been to the ocean? Plenty of times. It's truly Mother Earth's greatest bounty. Don't let nobody keep you here too long, wonderful. Every man must see the ocean one day. I reckon it's why God put us here in the first place. Simply to admire to admire his watercolors. You want to hear? I stole the ocean song and put it in the shell. Come, listen. Sweet Tea puts a seashell to his ear. Whoa, huh? What's she singing? She sounds so sad. Yeah, she misses her son. Fancy that. The ocean got a boy. Of course. Her boy is the son. She gives birth to him every morning, only to watch him leave her and rise across the sky. They say she sings a sad song till he returns. 
so it's best to capture her song tonight. She sings a high tide band, a song for Joseph. Wonderful falls in love. He tries to kiss her. Yeah, hey now, take that horse around the bend. Don't you know who I am, boy? <clears throat> yes, sir. He's my destiny. Yeah. I'm your mom. He sits with lightning. He grumbles. Then tears rain from his eyes. He runs into her arms for shelter. Daddy's baby is a sweetie. The sweetest honey she can be. He spoiled her with cakes and candy and charcoal from the cocoa tree. I knew. Number two walks out of a ray of light into the square wearing a double breasted suit and steps in happy. His badge is gold. <coughs> Folks read him in passing. Yeah, Daddy's baby loves her mom, but no one's sweeter than a happy bee. He rocks her like the sea in Hollywood. He prays to God she'll never leave. He is the only one in town not bothered by the heat. He leans against his statue on the well and lights a cigarette. Kimonaro. 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 A wind takes his life. A figure drifts by. Over. He chases the figure and runs into Red and Colorado. They're carrying bells to the chapel. Here come Sheriff! Sure. You look hot enough to be put on a plate. So y'all get a look at that man that's ran through here? Ain't no man that's from here. Just been us. We're taking a break from working on the wall. It got so hot, Brad here started sweating grease. What? <laughs> Dear Lord, I can't muscle how you're able to wear that suit, Sheriff, and not even break a sweat. No, no, guess it's my move, <coughs> This is going to be the best day of my life. My sweet tea coming up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot your tea was coming to town. Y'all wasn't nothing but a sprout when she left. Shave tail and sassay. <laughs> that girl used to get under my skin quick as gin. When the devil come out, she go in. Yeah, this girl, she treated her immediately in a cooler. In fact, she was about the only woman in town who had lost their skirts in your way. Yeah, Lord, those were the days of Julie. <laughs> but now, I'm ugly as one makes Now, that's the gospel truth. You was ugly. <laughs> and they say, sir, well, you, you all right? You look in office for the best day of your life. No, no, no I'm fine. Just, just got my head in twist. That half jaw and whisper little nothings in my ear again. Got me playing outside my character. Fat Ray, hmm. I sure could use a shave if it pleased it. Throw off my teeth thinking I'm father and turned into a Christian. Well, sit on down, man. It'll be my pleasure. And Colorado, I don't want to hear no more about your ugly. Consider yourself blessed. At least now, girl will have to, well, at least now, girl will have to love you for your heart. Something good out of me. My heart's beat up once in my face. Sure hurt me to see that boy with his head bowed low, hiding himself from eyes, talking soft when gals passing me, not even trying to pinch their cushions. I give him something to lift. So, enter Carter's place in the army. Pardon me. I'm looking for Freeman. Uh, are you Mr. Freeman? Yeah, but so is everybody else in town. <laughs> we all related, if not by blood, by name. It'd be our law. Every man here is free and thus all free. Right. But you are the sheriff, right? Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Trowbridge is free. No. Trowbridge left our town 16 years back. I'm left without a word. I'm the new law named number two. Well, it's quite an honor to meet you. I'm First Lieutenant Hodgson. I served in the first Kansas Colored Infantry during the Civil War and now work as a scoutsman at Fort Gibson. And, Sheriff, I must tell you that this town is nothing short of a miracle. It's something my eyes ain't never seen before. My mind ain't thought possible, and my heart couldn't really get used to. Negroes! The whole town full of nothing but Negroes. It's like heaven, but it's so hot, you think you're in hell and wants to get sinful. Y'all got Negro blacksmiths, cattlemen, carpenters, grocers, school teachers, hell, but it seemed like even the dogs here be Negroes. Oh, no, 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 hold on now. We ain't nobody's dog. He didn't mean that, 
boy just sprung. Been fighting a war for freedom, but ain't ever seen it up close. Yes, sir. Not real. Here we put the word free to good use. Even the land be free. It belonged to all of us and grows as sweet as corn as far as I can see. Plus it brings in more money than we know what to do. <laughs> and um, I don't know about that. I, I sure can use two nickels to rub together. Hush, Ram. Well, let me tell you, welcome to free time, Mr. Clay. How can we help you? Oh, well, uh, actually, I was hoping to come and help you. I was told that this land was cursed by the chief of the neighboring Indians. He said the sun was hanging heavy over this place, making y'all crazy and dying of thirst. So I was hoping to bring you good news to tell you that help was on the way, but I'm afraid to report the government has given your land to the Seminoles. That must be an error. We were told by the government we could settle any land we found in here. We were told this land was ours by right. They gave us their word. Forgive me, but a word hardly suffices when compared to a letter. And I have one, sir. Would you like to read? <clears throat> Dead Sheriff Free. Due to the war, a few land settlements have come into question, and a delegation of chiefs have met to decide what to do with the land you and Negroes occupy. Because the Seminole, Seminole chiefs cannot be expected to take reservations on land that will not grow good crops or enable cool streams, they are requesting that you provide homes for them and their families in your town. Knowing the abolition of slavery to be a fact throughout the United States, the Seminole leaders are willing to live in cohabitation with Negroes, but cannot be expected to incorporate them on equal footing. Because if they have learned from the white man, the Negro is undoubtedly inferior. The emancipated Negro must, of necessity, be suitably provided for and governed by its chiefs from this day forward. We, the United States government, trust that this decision shall be met with your full accordance. <laughs> Our serious, sincere appreciation, Major John B. Sanborn, governed by the same chief that enslaved us, the same men we ran away from. God help us! Mr. Clay, tell your major we don't have hearts for masters here. If the Seminole chiefs want to live in our town, they may. But as equals, here there's only room for one chief, and that chief is me. Are you sure, sir? We have our town law, and the treaties of the United States government cannot stand against it. We will be free, or we'll go to war fighting for our freedom. I understand the frustration, but as one Negro to another, you don't want to go against the United States Army. They will crush you. Good. Let them come. It's been a long time since I had to crush. At the trade post, Sweet Tea wrapped his food. The story is a mess. Wonderful listeners give a shit. I was in bloom like tulips in June till I found you. You brought the moon, learned the sea to swoon. I drowned without you. I was so blue, drowning in blues till I found you. My grandma <coughs> said you were gone for good. Well, she wrong. I come back. Yeah? Why'd you leave? Had to. Had to make sense of the world. Couldn't quite get my head around it. You weren't my child, though I gave birth to you, and no one would tell me why. They just took you as if they owned you. I looked up one day, and you were gone from my arms, and all that was left were two options. I could chew nails and be mad at the world, or find my place in it. So I left. Outside, Matt George kicks Colorado. Stop laying around my store, Colorado. I don't shelter dogs or fleas. I show him those shelter no cookie ass baby. Oh God, it's my grand. She's coming. Wonderful. Yes. Meet me at the creek at midnight. It's 
It's our only chance to get away from here. I'll have Coach wait. Promise me you'll meet me. Promise me. Yes, sir. Eat that goldfish. Looks like a tornado through here. I'll clean it up, Mom. Don't, don't have a hissy. I, I, I'm going to clean it up. She got you calling her mom. Ain't this thick as horseshit. Close he calls me, Ma. I'm his man. One for her to clean when they go on up stairs. That's a lie. You've been telling him a lifetime of lies. Wonderful, go upstairs. Well, I thought you said you could go upstairs now. Looking healthy, sweet. Thought you'd be gone for longer, but it pays. It's the first thing a woman of his 16th year. Been gone for his entire childhood. That waiting long enough for you. Mine's gone for you. Got any idea how long that is? I didn't come to pay a visit, just so you know. I come to get my son. You ain't got no son. Oh, but I do, and he has a father's sweet, and he has his father's sweet tooth and his grandfather's eyes. And I'm taking him, or gonna, or gonna, be, or gonna be dead trying. Sweetie, baby, I told myself I wasn't gonna be late for your arrival. <laughs> Look at that lady to send for all the call. Jacob Crip, come hug my neck. Ain't nothing harder for a mother than to go ages without seeing her child. Just look at you, grown. Turn around, girl. Let my eyes have you to feel. <sighs> Apparently, gone come from my loins. Turn again, girl. Don't you make you smile out, George? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Where's your sack? How long you been waiting? Did you eat? You tired? You coming? Been all day coming from Boston. Look at you, girl. You done put on weight in all the right places. You look good if you're tired. Mom, the dog was. Well, I know, I know. I'm just sorry for being late. First lady was a need, you know how that is. Let's get you home. I'm making a feast. This new hat's so big. You like it? Go ahead, try it on. Mercy, Grace, T. This is a crown of glory. I'm going to go show off. <laughs> Here. This should more than pay for the food. I'll be expecting my son at dusk. If I don't see him, I'll be coming here and carrying more than a gun. Sweet she exits. She crashes into hot rock. Heaven! What, where are you going? Colorado? Is that you? Ooh, you got ugly. <laughs> a part of me, but age played a number on you. God help Joe. It's good to see you, though. Bye. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's good to see you. You. What a sweet thing she's become with this day. She snatched my heart and break a hole in the whisper of her breath. I pulled water over. I pulled water over. I pulled water over. Whoa. What call is that? Not you. So they're not you. So they're not you. Number two pushes past Colorado and storms to the trade post. Where half George drinks coffee. She is rocking on her chair. Where is it, Georgia? Where's Trowbridge? Yeah. Don't lie to me. I just heard him hollering our song in the mouth of the mountain. I know you're hiding. Tell me where he is and I'll turn this storm to Go ahead and ain't believing nothing as it is. Give it to me! I would if I knew where his body was number two, but somebody buried him without a dance. Didn't even leave a mark on all the stone. And now he's walking around ghosts. No, no, you're trying to get, get me out of my head, but I won't go. I know what I heard, and it wasn't no ghost. You're cursing me. <laughs> but I did try to curse you. It just didn't take because you're already mocked. A curse ain't nothing but a bad story somebody brought into it. You already been sold. I tried everything in my bag on you, but nothing stuck because you fuck good. And ain't a thing a witch or a god can do about it. Your curse is been across your chest. It say everything you love, you gonna keep. He grabs her by the throat. You didn't know me so much, I killed you, boy. You, you had the best years of Trowbridge's life, you had his heart, and he had mine, and that left me with leftovers. I only keep you alive to watch you long for him like I do. Is that what you think I've been doing all these years? 
long, bull and shit. I did enough of that when I was young. The true bridge kept crawling out of my bed at night to cross the street so he could lock arms with you and bless a bad dog's lust. Lock it. You too old to be a fool. I don't long for nothing in this world but a cup of coffee and a little like that. Shit. She throws a fire. Get it off of me! Get it off of me, Hancock! Get it off! Ma! Ma! You all right? Ma! I'll kill them! Jesus, I swear tonight! I'll put an end to all of this! At the square, horse drinks before Red and Jean. Towns hold past his head. You shouldn't have spat at my wife, Paul. Not at on! He spat on! Now, you can't spit on a man's wife with any hair tape. She was my gal before she was your man. Means I can do what I want to. No, no, you went too far. Now, I got to go and take him tied to the whipping tree. Ha! Well, I look like old man whips. These folks ain't going to allow that. Oh, but they will, for I have led them to salvation. You've been drunk too long to pay attention, but I'm the new law. They do just what I tell them. I have to get old. No, you get old! You ain't a man if you can't keep this town a Christian. If you can't whip a man for spatting on your own wife and in the face, in the face like she a boot that needs shining, you get a hold. <laughs> Pop, that's your one? Hold on, little Pop. Here it goes. The reverend ties him to the tree. M.G. reads the Bible. And the Lord said to Moses, go to Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart. Y'all gonna let him hit an old man? You're gonna let him whip me just for spitting? And Moses said to his people, stand still and see the salvation of God. And then Moses lifted his rod. You've been my boy, man. How, how can a boy whip his own paw? And stretched his hand over the sea. Oh, yes. And divided it. The first lash. Oh, good God. And the Egyptians shall follow them and be troubled, troubled. Oh, the Jesus. And all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea were tossed, tossed. Another lap. Oh, holy. Now, Paul, accept the Lord into your heart, huh? This was for your own good. Now, take Jesus. He waiting. You see him, Paul? He waiting. Horsepower turns away from him. The Reverend breaks the ride against his knee and exits. At number two's cottage, Sweet Tea rubs aloe on her father's spider pants. Colorado wears a suit and a tie. You ever seen anything prettier than that Sweet Tea's face? Ah, uh, correct. Of course you didn't. And smart, dog and bone, his hip bone, about the smartest thing let the God let breathe. Did I tell you how, she, how, she, how well she did in nursing? Only about a thousand times. First in her class, and she colored too. They were all colored, Carl. <clears throat> it was a colored school. <laughs> Don't matter. If it was a white school, you'd still be first. Because you my seed and mine always lead. She a cat, huh, Colorado? Smart as a whip, pretty as pellets, Christian as Christ, and pure as snow. Wait, Pure as possible. <clears throat> Look at it. Ooh, you've got Colorado blushing. He fancies you, sweet. Man had nothing but curses to pay you when he was young. Now he can't keep his eyes open. Ain't that just like life? Always held in on teaching you a lesson, even when you're late for school. Sit down, boy. We get ready to eat. Mary done made a whole spread. Ain't that right, boy? Sit down, Colorado. I just got <clears throat> getting ready to bring out the meats. That's the first lady and her hugs. Colorado, when you let him in, you put you put that smoke out and come sit at the table. M.G. and Rev. Eat you, first lady and Rev. Y'all have a seat. Look at you. I wish you put down your books. This is your daughter's homecoming. Well, oh, I don't care. Let him wear what he wants. Yeah, woman. I let your mean looking friend come into my house. I didn't say nothing about her face. You don't say nothing about my feet. Come on, Cheryl. Your wife asked you to put on your boots. She a woman, which means she knows something about her tire. You should bless her and cover them nasty toes. Fat Rev, tell your jaw jacket wife to mind her business. This ain't no church. I don't need her amen with my wife. My wife's going to freak the fools. Uh, Mary had me be. We got to pray over the people <clears throat> first, number two. Like hell, where? Pass me be. Husband, don't move a muscle. If number two wants to act like a child, let him serve himself. That uh, where? 
I done asked you to pass me them beans now. I don't want to have to kick you out of my house with all this good food sitting up there waiting for you to devour it. Pass me them beans. Pass them, don't you dare. Pass them. Pass them. Pass them. <laughs> Let's say grace first. You're right, baby. I'll wait. Husband, if you please, pray. <clears throat> and speak with diction and clarity. <laughs> now, all it is called grace. <laughs> there will be grace. Let's all bow our heads and close our eyes. Lord, we thank you for this food we are about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies for Christ's sake. And Lord, we thank you for teaching us long suffering. <laughs> for you said you would not put anyone on us who would, we could not bear. So, Lord. We thank you, for you are our Father which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Corn rolls and maize that keep us well fed. The sweets and meats we are eager to eat. The neck bones and tenderings for all the big beans. The fried chicken, sweet beef, and delicious pork chuck. Yeah. The blood pump is so good that make your dog shut up. The rice and beans, the collard greens, candy bread that dressing like eggs, those mashed potatoes piped with hot and gravy, the dead salmon and small, somebody save me. They're frying it on fruits that black eyed peas, the corn and flour sprinkled with cheese. The moon shines and wine popped to get a sip. Cha-cha, the season hot sauce. My friend! Whiskey to get wasted and sweet tea to drink. Lord, I think you're only going to have a time I see. Come on, bro. From black fish and fish cakes, yeah. turtle soup, down the bake to a golden crisp, carrots cooked in butter and cinnamon dip. Yes. Tell me if I skip when I see you have to turn over, turn over and sugar. Peach cobble cream and cream on top of the air. Now, food can't stay long on my plate. Put it in my mouth, watch me side of it. Oh, the teas and the tea cakes and chicken tea. God, if you don't have pleasure, I'll be no. You heard up. Now, you ain't my God. You will not tell me what to do or say anymore. You are white. Right. You are to mind me. <laughs> Guess that means it's time to eat. <laughs> First lady, you all right? Leave her alone, Mary. MG has been having that tongue last to come to her for 30 years. <laughs> now, Red, pass me your beat. Red, pass me the beat. I feel the Lord calling me for a baptism. Mary, won't you join me? Please, Mary, I need you. Sit down, buddy. You know I'm not about to let you leave this house. We got company. MG, you leave. Mary, you finish making my play. Yeah, lady. That's the train goes. One foot tries to leave, unnoticed. But has your sixty. She sits in a rocking chair holding a dog. There's some dogfish and meal on the stove. Obliged, but I ain't hungry. I'm going out for air. Is that why you carry this in this? Yeah. I'm going to put some air in it. Ocean air. I won't be gone long, Ma. Ha. Ma. How many times have I heard that tune from a man? Of course, it sounds promising at first, but then it fades into one long tone. They never write. Not me. I'll write you every day and send dime novels and lace and pretty brooches. You'll see. I won't let you miss me long. Enough to notice I'm gone. Well, I, I just want you to know how I don't regret what I've done. Though I know it was big dog evil, I still can't bring myself to be a bad guy. Of course, I, I know I should have been taken from my own mom. 
I know what it's like to long for an embrace that no other woman's arm can fold, to soak a tear with milk made for your mouth and, and then get snatched and thrown into a world where her heartbeat can no longer pop yours. If God made a woman to despise slavery and curse the taking of faith from their mom's arms, it would be me. Half George. And never have I given it. Why'd you do it, Mom? I thought I had lost my child with my man. I came all the way west through tears, blood, and starving so I could put my good wish down into summer. So that I could call her. So that when I gave my last breath, I could look God dead in the face and say, see that? That that's some of me. Go ahead, look, God. That there is somebody that I have to kill. God, free Georgia. Well, up here in heaven, that's to call me Georgia, because I ain't have another no more. I'm a I'm as big as a state. Because I put my good wish down into something. Put some button points in the case and some food in the jacket there in case you get hungry. Send me a word in the blue moon. <coughs> Let me go, Ma. He exits. She extends the lens on her slate dog, and a figure rises from shadows. It is red high up. She maneuvers the dog and he walks, enchanted by her craft. You best make sure he was not on the Yes, and what? I'll give my good ass. In the dining area, everyone eats inside. I got news. I ain't saying. Didn't say it? What do you mean? Yes, she is. No, Pa, I ain't. I only came back because I left a part of myself here. And now that I've found it, I can't find a good reason to call this place home. Yeah, you can. You married Colorado? Oh, I'm mean, Ain't she been through enough of it? You <laughs> haven't changed, have you, Pa? Still hard to hear. I know what's best for you, T. Let her do what she wants. And she's too young to do what she wants. She's very proud of her. don't even love her. The man wearing a tie. When you know him to wear a tie, he didn't love her. It don't matter. I ain't worried. You got a beauty in your teeth that you can't quite see for her. Let alone touch. Don't matter. She ain't got but one choice. Mary get proud. Love you. You ain't. You felt bad for me because I was born a slave. Been carrying the guilt of your kid and selling mine and wants to get rid of it. That's why you married me to a race to stay. Figuring I'm black enough to wash it and you red enough to pay me what to do. Now get your rump up and get me some pie. I'll let you be gone 16 years from me, sweet. 16. And I didn't force you back. But once you're back out, I need you. As you can see, I'm getting better. I need you to stay. Mary returns with the pie. Number two, eats. I built this town for you. Bought hundreds, so you can carve your name in this land until you got to stay. You my one. Nah, you saved that number for somebody else. I'm not yours anymore. Merciful! Number two grabs his gun. What's falls. wrong? Pa, what is it? It's his bowels again. Oh. They turn it on him. Number two spits blood. Rev, I think it's time to call it. Yeah, I think you're right, uh, Mr. Mary. Mind if I make me a plea? Of course not. You and God like help yourself with left in the kitchen. Mary, where did you get this fruit from? It's these cherries. From the trade store. No, no, it's poison. It's got an off taste. That witch George will her tricks again. Mom, make him root tea. <sighs> Doesn't have enough of this. Guess when a man gets settled in his nest, here come the claws. That's a clever beast she is. I need to <laughs> hug her when it hurts. I need to hug her right now. No, Pa, sit. You need to. Pa! He exits. Jesus, what's going into him? He's sick. It took a while. Had a fever in the spring, said half George was blowing poison tricks at him through our window, but I ain't seen her. A week later, he started bleeding from the mouth, said she was putting poison petals in his coffee. He was giving him the shit to make him spew blood. But it didn't harm me. Guess today he figured she'd done a mess to the cherries. I 
think he's losing his mind. His blood. Look, it's sparkling. Have you ever seen such a thing? What did you put in this pie, Mom? Sugar. Nice pie for sweet. I may have sprinkled sugar on it, that's all. Maybe I should taste it then. See what it do to me. Ho! Oh. It's glass. The tiniest shards of glass spread like sugar across his piece. I'm gonna beat it to him so that he quiets. His timbers got so bad lately. Like he's, he's not been himself, T. Killing men like these flies, bossing folk, running the town like he got him. He just might be, because I can't kill it. God knows I'm trying. Pricks the coffee, it's all in me. You won't, you won't die. It just, it just ain't in this world. That's so? Hmm. Sound like to me you got this whole, whole town poisoned. After a while, if Jean stands on a rock and sings loudly as tears fall from her face, she is arming herself to the creek. When I'm in trouble, I can call him day or night. He'll always go with me to the battlefield to fight. Elijah Rock, shout, shout. Elijah Rock, I'm coming home, Lord. And Jean closes her eyes. A figure snatches her and carries her over the wall as dust falls. She drops her Bible. Number two arrives at the creek and plays and drinks. It sparks a memory. Young number two and young Trowbridge tumble on wrestling. They have pipes. I got here first, Trowbridge. This creek land be mine. You cheated. There ain't no way you could have rode that fast on me. Oh, bully. I got it fair and square. Now get off of me. Young Trowbridge pins him and kisses him till the wrestling turns into love making. Young number two pushes him off. I know what you're doing, Trowbridge, and it ain't gonna work. I bet it will. You know you love me. Die! Love ain't nothing but another master. You don't know because you ain't never been slaved like me. Starved and whipped and made to work for another man's gain. That's love. And I don't want it. Yeah, you do. Besides, ain't you read the stars? We's made for each other. And by the will of God, made to make love. They kiss. Young number two pushes them off. We can't do this. We ain't young as them. Oh, we men. men. They'll never let us love and go. Not this town. They've been through too much to turn a blind eye to anything that can curse them or challenge their new faith. They need us to be men, bro. Folks can't wrap their head around us this way. I don't care about other folks' heads. God gave me one for a reason. No matter. We gotta do what's best for our people. We got the enemies. You don't mean that. Look at me. I don't love you. You planned this all along, didn't you? You got in my head, crawled in my heart, just so you could take my land. Don't do this. Well, I ain't letting you take it. This is my land. Young Trowbridge takes his pipe and runs off. You don't do this, you can come back. Number two runs after him but falls. He spits blood. Come back to me. You can, you can have it, just. It's oh. a with the suitcase and speed. Sheriff? So? Nah. It's wonderful. I come to kill you, sir. <laughs> you never stop doing it, Troy. I knew you'd come back for me. I ain't Trowbridge, sir. I said my name is wonderful. And I know, I know who you are. You're my one. Come kill me. One. Come try. Wonderful moves holding the spear. Number two closes his eyes. Wonderful lifts the spear and lunges. Wonderful! He freezes, inches sweet. Don't do it. He's my pa. I know you hate him, but he's mine. Put it down. Still trembling, Wonderful drops the spear. She embraces Wonderful, his back is toward his face toward number two. Number two lifts the speed. You must sleep, Trowbridge. You must stay asleep. Daddy! She pushes her son out of the way and takes the blow. She opens her mouth. We hear the ocean. 
She falls into wonderful calm. Oh, God! Oh, gee! Ma! Forgive my pa. He's just a man. Gee? What'd I tell you about singing that way? Jesus, keep me. Keep my secret for you, though, Ma. Of course. Go in the house, my team. Go in before you catch a cold. My grand said you was the sweetest thing to taste. She said you were so happy when I was born, you got, you got lifted and flew away like a bird. That's what makes me wonderful, Ma. I can fly. I know, babe. Your pa was a good bird. Sweetie dies. Number two sees his daughter dead and goes wild. Roger! At the well, Fat Rat from Colorado put sassafras on horse collar's back. I told number two the wrong story, but he needed something. I wanted to give him a wish, but instead I gave him the cut. I told, I told him his mark meant he could never die, and he took it to heart. He forgot how to live. You come out from behind those trees, Georgia. Don't let this body fool you. I'm bleeding like a cut pig, but I'm still a god. No, Father. I know your secret. Boss told me your weakness. Liar. He'd never tell it. It's time for you to follow your man back to hell. Ha! And God give you the strength to do it. You'll need it. Yeah! yeah. Number two charges toward half George. When he reaches her, she moves, and he falls into the arms of Ray Hyde. So? Yeah. You didn't come back? Yeah. I come back for you. Wonderful rises and stabs number two in the back. <laughs> he screams through his sunlight. At the square, Mary walks to the way. They took her. The Creek Indians. I found a bottle near the well. They smashed him, Jean. No, God. Not my peach. Oh, God, not my wood. They should have took me. I'm no one with the stain. What stain? I don't see no stain. I <coughs> <coughs> run deep. And be in my bone, the blood stain in my paw's slaves. No. You say what he said to you, girl. The stain ain't no mark on your life. It'd be there to make a point. It'd be there to say you ain't washing yourself enough. It ain't loving you. But you can wash, girl. But what, paw? Yes. What else God give us to clean with? Been holding our rain back for 32 years because of the trail. Open tears so we wouldn't remember how long we wept. But to stay strong, you got to let yourself get weak. Weak, Mary. Your guilt done made you a slave, but I'm telling you to live free. Weak. Weak for the kin and weak for MG. <laughs> You kiss. Kiss your hands. And then kiss your legs and thighs. You fall in love with you. Your beauty ain't skin deep. Your beauty is your skin. Black, beautiful as heaven itself. You kiss you. And you, Rev, laugh. Life don't add up to sense. Don't you get mad at God and go to some dark place just to spite like you laugh? <laughs> and you <laughs> sang. If Jean saunters across the lane, she's in another place, dazed. Her hair and clothes made. She bears a tattoo across her face. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Tears 
falls from the statue of number two and forms a road. The well spills over and it rains. The people get soaked. They laugh. Some cry. And the Holy Ghost falls. Hosts dance in a wicked ecstasy. Potter's uh, play enters with the city. This is it, Chief. Uh, town of the Freeman. <coughs> As you can see there, the heathens. <laughs> Won't be no problem taking a lay. Uh, I can't let my people settle here. The Greek chief was right. The land must be cursed. Look at how it's raining directly on the square. Nowhere else. Look at how that water keeps coming out of the statue's eyes. Out of the well of the fountain. These people are either evil or crazy. <laughs> Got a magic beyond my head. But it don't matter, son. If you don't take this land, eventually the creeks will. Well, if that's true, they have their hands full. The people lift their hands, laughing and dancing. This is a freedom found only those who have freed themselves. The praise rises and it pulls off. All goes dark except for the moon. In its eye, one pull cocks his head and then, Suddenly, black wings reach out from his back like arms reaching out from a wound. He rides, then stands tall. Above, number two and Trowbridge's spirits wrestle for all time, even after their bodies burst into stars. Wonderful kneels. He prays to Jesus in the open spirit. Yohoya! Yohoya Eva! Hallelujah! He blows out the moon in the flood. Amen. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 